This video will show you how to create view frames of a model file. Within this model file, we have an alignment, profile, assembly, and corridor. What we want to do now is we want to get all this information ready for PDF. The first thing we need to do is we need to create view frames. To create view frames, we come up to the output tab, select output, go to the plan production panel and select create view frames. Left click on create view frames, the create view frames dialog box will appear. Make sure that the right alignment is selected, in our case it will be road 1. I'm going to leave the station range on automatic and press next. In here then we want to make sure that it's reading the correct template. Mine is shown that it's reading the Autodesk template. I'm going to click on the three dots at the end of this cell. Clicking the three dots I want to change my template file here and the template file we're going to be using is the template file in the link there which has the correct sheet in there. Select the three dots again and navigate to where you've saved that template file. Select then the template filed WS for World Skills question one template DWT and go open. And in there you'll see that you have different scales. So you have one is to a thousand, one is to five hundred, and one is to five thousand. We're going to go with the ISO A1 plan and profile one is to five hundred and go OK. The view frame placement, we're going to leave this along alignment, so that's going to look like this. If you want to rotate north, it'll look like so. I'm going to go with along alignment and then set the first view frame before the start of the alignment by. I'm going to change that to 25 meters or 25. Now, what that is for is that's accommodation for the bandwidth here. Changing it to 25 will give a little bit of extra room so we can fit in them bands. Go next. The view frame group, the name of it, I'm going to leave it as the default. VFG and then the next count. Not going to put in description. Leave the layers as default. And leave all the information here as default. Go next. In here then, I want to change the positioning of our match lines. So select this box here and the snap station value down to the nearest. I want to make sure that the match lines snap to the nearest 10 mil or 10 meters. Then I also want to allow additional distance, in, distance for reposition. So again, that is to do with the bands here at the front of the profile view. And I'm going to set this again to 25 meters. I'm going to right now leave all of the match line styles down here and settings as default and I'll come back to it again. Go next and in here I'm going to leave my vertical exaggeration as five times. So five times exaggeration, I'm going to leave that. And also I want the band set to be levels and geometry data, which is the exact same as what we're seeing here on the right hand side. Click create view frames and the view frames have now been created. The next thing I want to do is I want to modify the match lines labels as they are outside the view frames. So if I was to go to print this off right now, this information is outside the view frame and it won't be captured, captured in the PDF or the printout. To modify these labels, you just left click on any one of the labels and then what you're going to do is just go to the edit label group select edit label group and what you have here is you have the left match line label style which is this one because the alignment is going in this direction from west to east and the right match line label style which is this one over here I want to modify both of them, so I'm going to select the edit button. So I'm just going to edit this simple label style. In here, you want to navigate to the layout tab, 
within the layout tab, we're going to change our X offset to maybe minus 20. Hit apply. And you can see it's now within inside the view frame. Go OK. And also do the same with the right match line label style. Click the edit button and also change the X distance to minus 20 and hit apply. Go OK. And that's how you create view frames and also modifying the labels of the match line.